Today, it's time to put this debate to bed. Which is the best air filter and intake setup? And we're gonna test them using a mainline Heartbreaker Dyno. There was a bit too much workshop noise in the background when I filmed this, so I'm running a narration over the top. The test car is a 2009 BMW Z4 with the N54 engine. Modifications include RB2 Plus turbos running 10 PSI of boost, RB silicon inlets, VRSF 2 inch outlets, Evolution Raceworks 5.5 inch intercooler, VRSF catless downpipes, Eisenman Race Exhaust, Reflex Plus Port Injection Controller, Black Market Parts Port Injection Plate with the Bosch 750cc injectors, a Walbro 535 Low Pressure Fuel Pump, Stock High Pressure Fuel Pump and E75 to E80 Fuel, all tuned by Wedge Performance. Of course this setup can push more power, but this power reflects what most people would achieve out of stock turbos on MHD off-the-shelf tunes stage 2 plus with full bolt-ons and E30 fuel, a real common setup. The VRSF DCIs will go first, then over to stock airbox with the different lids and filters. The hood will be left open for each run and we'll do two fourth gear DCT pulls on each setup. May the best filter win. So let's quickly review the stock airbox combinations we're going to be testing. This is the stock airbox from a Z4, uh, which is also identical in part number uh, to the 135335 stock airbox base. So they share a common uh, base to their airboxes. Uh, on top though, there is variation. So this is a, a 135335 lid. And you see it has a little bit of a scallop cut out there for the engine cow that passes through the back of the engine bay. And this one here is the Z4 lid, uh, which has a smoother top on it. Uh, and so the capacity, the actual volumetric uh, area of that lid is higher, on, interestingly, on the 135 than the Z4. But the Z4 has a larger cross section through here. And this really is the, we'll call it the window, where all the air has to pass from above the top of the filter down between these fins through here and gets dumped uh, here clean air into this little cavity and out through those outlets uh, or through the inlets I guess to the turbos so these uh, these fins I think are deliberate and they are not really there for structural rigidity the, the if you cut them out the box rigidity doesn't really change um, in fact, look how big that cavity is in there and there's not ridges all running across it, uh, across it. There's a few little ridges in there, a few little fins and note the orientation of them. I think it's important. Uh, so the orientation of them runs that way. The orientation of these also runs the same direction and on the stock paper filter, put that in there and note the direction of the cleats, uh, which way they run is in line with those fins, in line with the fins inside the lids. And I think that's to create laminar flow uh, to help air uh, move uh, less restricted uh, from on top of the filter uh, to this cavity here, and which then goes down into the, that, that side of the air box. Interestingly, the k &N filter has cleats that run the opposite direction, so they're perpendicular. There's also far fewer of them, so yes, it's a more breathable material, but you've only got 30 cleats versus 100 here. So if you could be bothered unpicking all that and laying out that paper, the total surface area of that filter is far greater than the surface area of this filter. So. Perhaps this one flows better, um, but it's definitely less filtration. So if these two filters produce the same amount of power, that's the filter to choose because it's got better filtration. So we'll be testing the, air, the same base air box uh, with the Z4 lid paper filter, the 135335 lid paper filter, Z4 lid k &N filter, and the 135335 lid with the k filter. We'll do two dyno pulls uh, with each of those combinations, as well as a dyno pull without any airbox or DCIs uh, to see what uh, will happen without any intake or filtration. And 
the results are in. It's a tie between all the different combinations. The power curves are identical between all of them and the peak power was all 274 wheel kilowatts plus or minus three kilowatts within the margin of error of the dyno. We did a dozen pulls, but we can only display six here on the screen. So you can choose the filter or intake or lack of filter based on cost, appearance or sound, but not by power.